Kuma here. Just wanted to share some of what I've been up to at home and tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Liverpool, England, and I started dancing around 13 years old after watching my sisters dance. And at 16, I went to the Royal Ballet School in London until I saw Houston Ballet perform and I decided to take class with them. That's where I met Ben Stevenson and he offered me a job. I danced with Houston Ballet for about six years and in 2007 I joined Texas Ballet Theatre and I've been here ever since. I'm married to Leticia Oliveira who also used to dance with the company and is now the principal of Texas Ballet Theatre School. We have two beautiful children, Tiago and Isabella. Tiago is seven years old and Isabella is two. So as you can imagine, my hands are totally full. Um, so follow us around and see what we've been up to. There's a lot of homeschooling to be done with Tiago. And most mornings are spent trying to keep him concentrated while Izzy is doing her own music class in the living room. Which is always a challenge. Then it's time to work out. Usually it's between just dance videos and ballet class, but today it's the Bring Sally Up challenge. Press ups, squats, and sit ups. When the weather's good, we spend a lot of time outside, and for those of you that know me well, I love taking care of the grass, so it's the perfect time of year. I wouldn't be able to do it without my little helper. As well as dancing for Texas Ballet Theatre, I've also had the wonderful opportunity to choreograph. So far I've choreographed three pieces for the company as well as a couple of workshops, and pieces on the school and a couple of competition solos. My first piece for Texas Ballet Theatre was evolving and had a lot to do with me thinking of having children at the time and was to do with this thought of not wanting your children to make the same mistakes that you did and to learn and grow and evolve into better human beings. My second piece was Clan, which was loosely based on a poem called Punishment by Seamus Heaney, who is a poet that always intrigued me. Um, and it was more about the music, the Celtic viol, um, and was a couple, uh, 12 different vignettes that all related to each other in some way. My next challenge was Henry VIII, um, which I did to music from the planets, um, which I'd always been in love with and wanted to choreograph something to. Um, and then I'd always been obsessed with that time in history um, and Henry VIII. So I started to piece together each planet to one of Henry's wives and it was just kind of crazy how they all matched up with the different word, wives' personalities. So that was my starting point. 
and then I tried to make it a bit more multimedia using 3D mapping and projections and kind of create more of a movie feel on stage. I always feel like I'm prepared and do my research ahead of time uh, before going into the studio as far as how I want a ballet to flow or what I wanted to say. Um, but I will, will choreograph all the actual steps and movement on the dancers themselves. And I'm very fortunate that I know a lot of the dancers at Texas Ballet Theatre so personally that I am able to highlight their strengths and hopefully challenge them at the same time. Well, I hope you enjoyed spending a little bit of time with us and I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. I can't express enough the importance of the arts, staying creative and self-expression, especially in times like these. Please consider donating to the TBT Relief Fund and thank you for watching. Bye.